Do you have a PayPal account? Want to keep it safe from being hacked into? Stay tuned and I will show you how to keep it safe. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we will talk about protecting your PayPal account with two-factor or two-step authentication, depending how you want to look at it. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon flash briefing or podcast. Please go to techbyteswithrunnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this episode, there are affiliate links in the description. If you click on these links, I will get a small cushion, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. Now, here's what we're going to be talking about. I'm already going to assume for the purposes of discussion that you've already got a PayPal account up and running. What we're going to walk through is there's two different ways you can protect the account using either two-step or two-factor authentication, depending on how you want to talk about it. The first, we're going to be enabling SMS or text messaging. And the second is using a soft token. Now, you'll hear me talk about this later in the video. You cannot use both of these or something that's called stacking. So this is going to be something you have to decide which one you want to go with on this account. And at, at the time of this recording, that's going to be your only option. So let's get started. Now I've gone ahead and logged in to the PayPal website. So we'll get started by going over here and clicking on the gear icon, which should get us to the settings pages. And then we will go to the security tab. Then you go down here to set up two step verification. So you've got two, like I said, we mentioned earlier, you've got two options. So we'll say, text me a code. Okay, we're gonna set it up. It already knows about my phone because I had to put that in to first get the account set up. So we'll click on next. And if the technology people like me today, then, and they do, then we'll enter the code in. So it is 995027. And well, helps if you click in the field 995027. PayPal is one that you've got to do it pretty quick because it will time out and render the code uh, invalid, which is actually good. All right. So now we've got that done. We'll click on log out and then log in and we'll enter the password and then log in and we should get prompted here in just a bit for the code and it, it at least lets you get ready or make sure you got your phone nearby so we will click on continue and then i should have a message here momentarily here we go so it's 032482 Again, making sure you you have clicked inside that field. So 032482. And if you click on trust this device, then that means the computer you're doing this from will never prompt you again for two-factor authentication. So always be careful to not check that unless you know that computer and you are the only one that has access to it and that it's kept secure. Because once it's gotten in, then you know, you're giving somebody the keys to the kingdom. So we'll click on continue and that's it. So we verified that we've got it up and running. So now we'll go on to getting soft token set up. When you're setting up that new account for the smart home cloud service or device, please get a copy of my smart home device account checklist you see here on the screen. This will help make sure that everything gets written down that you entered to get that account created. The form will also serve as a backup copy when you get this entered into your password manager app. And if you're not already using a password manager app, please get one now and get started. You will be subscribed to my email list in exchange for the checklist. I won't share, rent, or sell your information to anyone. Okay, now we're back in on the PayPal website. And with this service, it does not allow you to stack two-factor authentication methods. So you can't have both SMS and the soft token. So again, it would be nice if they would, but I understand the complexity or can at least appreciate some of the complexity that that can throw in to the process. So we'll go down here to two-step verification. We will click on update. We'll say use an authenticator app, set it up. So now this is what I like when they show you 
the code, they're also giving you the, the magic seed value as well. So as I've mentioned before in some of the other two-factor videos, make sure you use your smartphone or somehow get a copy of this so that you've got yourself protected as well. And then we'll go in here and we'll edit the settings and we will paste that in. And then I'll go down here to this and make sure we've got that saved there as well. And we'll click OK. And through the magic of technology, we've now got that available as well. Well, it's already counting the code down, so we'll click on copy value and we will paste that in and it's happy. So we can click on done. We are now protected with the two-factor authentication. So it's always a good idea to, to have this as a part of protecting your accounts because especially during the holiday shopping seasons, it's just one less thing you have to worry about, about somebody possibly getting access to your accounts. If you're watching this on YouTube, and you probably are at this point, you're going to see some videos on the screen that are similar to the one you're watching right now or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on that like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please click on subscribe now and enable notifications. We'll see you in the next episode.